Welcome to Lunchbox Sessions, bite-sized industrial training. Hello, this is Carl from LunchboxSessions.com. Multi-section load sense valve banks often have the symbols that you see here at the bottom of each valve section. The symbol looks an awful lot like a pressure reducing valve and it does have something in common with that type of valve. But it's more involved than that because you also notice that there is a line running parallel to the spring that is both connected to the load sense shuttle valve above and also connected to the directional valve bank on the work port side of the valve. The work port side is the ports that head on up to our hydraulic motors. Best way to understand what the pressure compensators are doing, that's what these two valves are called. They're called pressure compensators. The best way to understand what they're doing is to see them in action as we discuss. So I'm going to activate the first section in our valve bank to get motor number one rolling. And it's only got one brick on the brick stacker. Now let's get section number two rolling as well which has a single brick but a smaller one. But what I want you to notice is that as we add bricks to the first section of our valve bank, as we add bricks to the first hydraulic brick stacker, that's going to make our pump increase its outlet pressure as the load sense line transmits a pressure signal to the pump to adjust it. And if the pump outlet pressure increases, what prevents that second section, that second motor, from increasing speed? Because as you know, the flow rate through a directional control valve, which is what this first spool section symbol means, and this second section spool, the flow rate through that valve is largely a function of the pressure drop from the inlet side of the spool to the outlet side of the spool. So if our first section has had an increase in pressure, we're up to three bricks on the brick stacker. What we do not want to have happen as the pump increases its outlet pressure to support that first section, what we do not want to have happen is for the second section motor to increase its RPMs. That is what would surely happen if there was no pressure compensator preceding the directional control valve spool. So the pressure compensator is there to make sure that the delta P, the pressure differential across both sides of our directional control valve spool remains the same even if our common P port line coming from the pump is now at a higher pressure because of the information that was signaled to the pump by the heavier load on the first section of the valve bank. That's all for this time. Thanks for watching. We have hundreds of interactive resources like this live schematic, so you can try out your wild ideas without blowing anything up. Get started at lunchboxsessions.com.